Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel, long time no see. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Joanna and I'm a fourth year mathematics student at the University of Oxford. I cannot believe I'm already a fourth year and I haven't ever done a day in my life video. So today I am finally doing it. It is something that I've always wanted to film, but I've always and always made up excuses for it. So now no more excuses and we are doing it. So how I thought this is going to work would be that throughout the day I'm going to explain more about the work that I'm doing and what the university system is like here. And yeah, that's pretty much it. As you have seen in the intro, I like to take my mornings a bit slowly, a bit more towards the relaxing side. So my morning started a bit before 7am and the first thing I did was to just read a bit of One Piece in bed. That is pretty much my entire personality at the moment. I don't know if it's sad or not, but I guess you can tell me. I also had my morning coffee and I ate my overnight oats that I prepared the night before. So yeah, nothing too crazy, but definitely a relaxing way to start the day. Now I've just done my makeup and uh, got ready to start working. It is a bit past 8am right now and yeah, we're ready to hopefully seize the day, I guess. So the main things that I'll be working on today would be to work more on the continuous optimization sheet that I've been working on for the last couple of days, then to run some code simulations uh, for my dissertation. And that can either go incredibly well or shockingly awful and will probably decide the state of my dissertation, no pressure at all. Then if this goes well, then I want to run some real life simulations on it, which is hopefully going to be fun because it's based on real life accurate data. So that's always a good way to apply math in real life, I guess. And uh, yeah, besides this, towards more the fun side, I guess, I'm meeting up with one of my best friends at 12 to have some lunch in town together. Then I need to run to a double lecture or two. And then uh, after that, I will meet up with my boyfriend to go to the gym together. And yeah, after that, we'll probably get a bit more uni work done, but that's definitely not a problem for right now, I guess. Yeah, it's quite a packed day, so hopefully you will enjoy me taking you around today and showing you what I'm doing, what a day in my life looks like. So yeah, without further ado, let's get some work done. <laughs>
so it is roughly 10 a.m right now and uh, i got a good chunk of the optimization she done pretty much did all of the questions that i could do with what we know so far from the lectures so i guess it's time to move on to the dissertation work and get hopefully get something done uh, there as well so before i do that i want to explain to you a bit about how the course is structured this year how the fourth year at oxford is like so you have a good picture of what i'm actually doing throughout the day and i'm not just talking nonsense to you on camera so um this year uh, the fourth year uh, of the meds program is basically an integrated masters so it's pretty much the same thing as before the only difference is the dissertation so you get the same people around uh, you get the same type of courses plus the dissertation this year I need to do a total of eight units uh, to get my degree, basically, out of which two units are the dissertation on a mathematical topic. My dissertation uh, consists of branching processes to estimate the probability of a major outbreak. So it's a lot of probability theory combined with a bit of differential uh, equations and also a whole lot of computer simulations on real life data. So it's definitely something that I'm very very interested in i find it really really fun and whenever i get to work on my dissertation it feels like a breath of fresh air from the problem sheets from all of these past years as for the other six courses we had complete freedom to choose them so i chose to do three last term and three this term the ones that i did last term i will only need to revise for the exams and they were theories of deep learning networks and uh, stochastic models in mathematical genetics the ones that i'm doing this term are as you have seen continuous optimization um, a random matrix theory and computational biology. So all of these kind of of a same uh, vein, sort of like machine learning, deep learning, and also uh, quite a bit of uh, mathematical biology intertwined, which is pretty much the main areas of maths that I'm currently interested in. During the next term, we don't have lectures anymore and all of the focus shifts towards the exam prep and we will only have some revision classes and we're supposed to work a lot individually to prepare for exams, which are at the end of term. Right, so hopefully this gave you a rough idea of how my work this year is structured and what I'm supposed to do. And um, I hope that there won't be anything in this video that you will not understand of regarding what I'm doing. If you do, please leave a comment down below and I will explain. And yeah, let's get on with some dissertation work. <laughs> So here I was trying to run through my code and test it on very simple examples to see if there is a small bug that I haven't discovered before. And of course, there was one. So I went on redoing the maths on it and fixing it. While the simulations were running, I wrote a few more paragraphs in my actual dissertation to make sure I don't miss out on any of my ideas when I need to present the state of my work so far uh, in the meeting that I have next week with my supervisors. <laughs> Before I knew it, it was already approaching 12pm, so I had to get ready and leave to meet up with my friend. We decided on going to Gloucester Green and having something to eat there. Gloucester Green is a very local thing. Uh, there is this sort of market with food from all over the world and it just never disappoints. I went with my usual Greek food. It was amazing. I would highly, highly recommend it. Well, my friend went for one of the Korean places and her food also looked so tasty. We still had some time left before my lecture, so we took the opportunity to go to the covered market. Again, something very, very local uh, to have some coffee, which is so nice and so cozy. Remember all the scaling and 
conditioning problem. The rate is linear, so you can see the... We did a pool day today, mainly focusing on rose variations and pull downs, but I made sure to hit some lateral raises and bicep curls just for good measure, for the fun of it. I ended up doing 8 exercises, 4-5 to five sets each, then moved on to some abs as a finisher. This is pretty much how all of my workouts look like, doing some sort of uh, muscle group at first and then focusing on some like, core workout or some cardio at the end. just got back from the gym I spent a good two hours in there and then I had a shower and now it is time to work a bit more on the, on the dissertation before I go to sleep because what I did in the morning um, actually worked I left the simulation running when I went out to have lunch and um, the only issue with that is that it took five hours for the simulation to run which is definitely not ideal so hopefully we can clean it up a bit and we can optimize a few things here and there so yeah i will be working a little bit more on this maybe have a cup of tea in the meantime and then if i'm not too tired i'll probably just head to bed and read a bit of one piece yeah you you might say i have a problem you just might <laughs> For the final bit of work I did today, I spent quite a bit of time optimizing my code, testing a few things, and it finally seemed to work. So I got to get a taste of how the real-life simulations would look like. You can see me using a bit of ChatGPT in there as well, and let me explain. I have data represented as a 16 by 16 matrix for every country, and I need to bring it from Excel into a Python NumPy matrix. So I figured the easiest thing to do would be to give ChatGPT the matrix in table form and ask it to format it in my desired form. And it did just that in bare seconds and simplified my work quite a bit, which we always love to see. This pretty much concludes this Stay My Life video. I really, really hope that you have enjoyed it, that you have enjoyed being around me for the whole day, seeing what I'm up to. Definitely leave a comment down below if you did, give this video a thumbs up, and uh, yeah, also comment any type of video suggestion that you might have, any questions, any thoughts about this, and I will be sure to answer your questions. Follow me on Instagram for more content if you feel like it, and yeah, I guess this, this is it. I will hopefully see you all in the next video, and until then, have a good day. Goodbye. I'm sick of daydreaming. I just want the feeling of you in my bed. I'm down at this waistline, right below your waistline. Want you by my head.